Hey guys, it's Bethany. It is time to kit up another diamond painting to start. Uh, this one is Brookside Retreat by Chuck Pinson. It is a diamond art club. I got all kinds of supplies here and I will be doing this one for the Chuck Along event with Mindy and Maritza. I believe it is Chuck Long number four. It is the second one that I've participated in. It is the first one since I started doing YouTube. I will link their channels in the description box down below in case you're interested in looking into the event. Basically, you do a Chuck Pinson throughout the month and post on their Facebook group which I will also link in the description box down below. Anyways, if you're interested in starting a Chuck Pinson and working on it in the month of September and having a chance to win some prizes, check that out. I am going to be kitting this up right now. So I have my containers that I'm going to be putting them in. These containers are pretty small but there's a lot of them and this is a 55 color piece so each packet is not going to fit in here but I have an idea of what I can do to help with that issue so I have my containers I also have some washi tape I'm gonna be showing you after I get my drills put away I'm gonna be showing you what I do to make sure that I can have a better chance at finishing my kits during events. And that involves washi tape. I also have my stickers. I have some paper clips and some other clips. I don't know what kind of clips those are called. I have my diamonds. I have an organizer here for putting the extra bags in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drills out. I gotta go get some scissors, I forgot them. All right, I got my scissors and I took my diamonds out of the big bags. And the next thing I am going to do is I'm gonna cut these up so that I can maneuver them a little bit. And I'm gonna cut each, each one apart. I'll show you what I mean. Like that. Now the ones that have multiples, I'm going to leave them together. That way I know that there's multiples of them, but otherwise I'm going to cut them individually. Actually, I'm going to cut them individually because I'm going to have to do that anyways. So cutting them individually and then I'm going to order them in numerical order because that's how I'm going to that's how I'm going to put them in the container This is a huge kit. Like I'm just looking at, like this is one color. Definitely not gonna fit in here. Um, I'm just, I'm thinking about how, <laughs> I'm thinking about how, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish this in a month. We'll see. I really love diamond painting and because I structure, I, I structure my canvas in a way that I know how much I need to finish in a week and in a day, then the chances I think improve quite a bit. But, 
you know, th things come up in a day, so you never know for sure what's going to come up, and yeah, sometimes, sometimes things happen and that are, you know, beyond, beyond control, and you never know if you're going to be able to keep up your normal pace or not. I mean, I have health issues, and you know, if there, if I go through a, a week or even only a day or two where I am not feeling good enough to diamond paint, then that throws the whole schedule off. So you just never know, and that's okay. I mean, the whole point of all of it is to have fun. So you know, if you're not having fun, then you're doing something wrong. Cause you're supposed to be having fun and it really is a lot of fun I enjoy a lot of different hobbies and crafts and if I didn't enjoy doing them I don't I mean I don't know what the point would be so That's what I've got to say about that. It's funny to me because in just a, well, I don't want to say average size kit because I don't know what an average size kit is. I mean, that means different things to different people, right? I mean, some people, a 30 by 40 might be their average. Some people, um, itty bitty ones might be an average. Some people, you know, um, a 93 centimeter by 70 centimeter. That might be their average, <laughs> I don't know. But this one, this one is a pretty big one, really. Um, So, but I mean the the amount of the amount of diamonds in this kit is just wow. Wow, you know? So, what I what I originally was going to say was just just this part of organizing them before I put them in the containers. Just that part alone is taking me a lot longer than it normally would. Um, now, if you didn't want to do this step, you could just start in at one end of the strip, cut, pour, figure out what number it goes in, pour them in. But for me, this is what works best for me because one of the things that I've noticed with doing things efficiently and quickly is that if you do a bunch of the same task in one go it's a lot faster than spreading everything out in multiple steps and running through each of those steps over and over again so like regardless or not of whether i do this part first and go through all of them, cutting all of them first, you're still going to have to go through and cut all of them. So you might as well, like in my, for me, what works best for me is just going through and cutting them all first. Now I'm trying to kind of organize this as I go and you can kind of see these are all scattered about. There is a method to my madness. I am actually hoping to find three, eight, Four, sorry, three, eight, five, four next. Because, and I think it's probably going to be one of these smaller ones. Yeah, it is. If I can, if I can separate these out and lay them in order. Oh, let me see if you can see that right over there. Over here. I'm over here, I'm kind of laying them out in order from backwards, from, from the 
end of the list to the front of the list. And if I can do that, then there'll already be an order for me when I start pouring them in and I won't have to sift through them all to find what I'm looking for. Um, 3830. But I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that right now. It's just, I think it, it helps make it a little bit easier. I don't know. Maybe I make the whole thing a lot harder on myself than it needs to be. But the truth of the matter is, this kidding up part of diamond painting, I love it. So I may seem a bit scattered, but the truth is I am having a lot of fun right now. Those are all six four zeros. These are all three sevens. Oh my gosh. There's a oh sorry. I shook you. I shook you all about. You didn't know you were gonna do the hokey pokey today, did you? <laughs> oh forgive me. What projects are you all out there who have stuck with me this far? What projects are you guys working on out there? Obviously, I'm about to start Brookside Retreat. Um, I just finished... Well, I've actually... What I've been doing this past month pretty much is finishing up... I've been finishing up... I want that over there. I've been finishing up canvases that I had started but not finished. So, and I'm actually down to just one, no, two. I'm down to two, which I haven't finished yet, which is pretty good um, because I. <laughs> Because I love kidding up so much, I also love to start projects before I finish the last projects that I've started. So it's a bad habit of mine in just about every realm. So I've been, I really try to, I've really been trying over the past couple of years to discipline myself a little bit better on that. And, and so, you know, I'm feeling pretty good right now with the, with, having only two diamond paintings that are currently not finished. I am looking for, because I found the 3830, I'm looking for 3787. Oh, there it is. 3787, 3776, pretty sure. Oh, pretty sure I haven't done that one because it's right there. <laughs> okay. Three, eight, three, six, oh, eight. That's going to be pink. So it's probably one of these smaller ones. It is. You know, I said I was going to do all of one thing and then do more of, a, of you know, another thing. And here I am contradicting myself already. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. So, you know, you start out with a, an idea in your head how you're going to do things. And by the time you get further along, that's not how things are going anymore. <laughs> that's okay. That is okay. Okay. Three. Three, three, seven, one, three, three, four, six. That's these green ones. So 
so you can't see my my rows off camera but they're there I will show you when I completely finish them okay three zero three three is the next one in line it looks like it's gonna be gray it is possible that I've done it already, cut it, but I don't see it, so I don't know, let's finish cutting these, anyways, so as of right now I have those two that I'm working on, one's a mystery diamond painting, and one is a custom of a Studio Ghibli film, Totoro, and it's huge so it's a it's a long it's a long-term project although to be honest it's one of the first diamond paintings that i ventured out on ventured out on that i ventured adventure that i ventured to start um yeah that's it <laughs> and so now that i'm doing now that i have done more and more diamond paintings. This one, for example, it actually doesn't seem as huge as when I very first started. True story. So I'm currently doing those two and those are gonna be set aside. Those are gonna be set back aside because those are just kind of those are kind of ones that I work on in between events or in between diamond paintings. So those are going to go back aside because in a few days I'll be able to start this one, September 1st. Yes, I am excited. So what diamond painting are you guys currently working on? Are you working on any? Are you in between tasks? There's the one I was looking for. Okay. Uh, 3024, 3023, 3021. You can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm lining them down. Um, 977. I'd love to hear about your guys' current projects that you're working on. So comment down below. Let me know. Tell me what else is going on in your lives. I'm always interested to hear about you guys. I get on here and I talk and I talk and I talk and it's kind of a one-sided conversation, you know? I mean, I don't get to hear about you guys and what you're up to. Unless you're YouTubers and I watch your videos, which is awesome. But if not, then I don't get to, or you know, family, people I talk to on the phone, you know, but most of my family haven't, are not even aware that I have a YouTube channel yet because it's not something I've advertised. I want to get a little bit better at it <laughs> before, before I, before I, open myself up to the criticism of family all right um nine three eight i thought i set these up so i could quickly find the ones that i needed but i really didn't okay these are so pretty i'm so excited of course now that i'm kidding this up once it's kit up, I am going to want to start so bad. Like, I wanted to start before, but now I'm going to want to start even more because, come on, 
nine through eight but that's not the one I was looking for it was just another one of the ones I had okay I tell you what I'm gonna finish organizing these in a line and I will be right back all right I have everything lined up in order we have three rows of drills over there because it took that many because there are so many drills all right now it's time to put them in the containers so I need to figure out which one has my number ones. This one. Okay, the sticker, I'm gonna sit it right there. That's gonna be on that side so that when it's closed, I can go, oh, these are the drills for Brookside Retreat. In case for whatever reason I don't finish this kit and it gets set aside, I will know what that goes to right away. Same with this one. So I am going to go ahead. Actually, I'm not sure if these new bigger ones, I don't know if that's going to fit all the way in there. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I like to keep the bigger one for not only identifying diamonds, but at the end, when I go to frame my diamond painting, I like to just stick this whole thing right on the back so that I know when I started it and ended it, I know what the original photograph was to look like and I know the dimensions if for whatever need the, whatever reason the need arise. Mm -hmm. I'm debating, I'm debating on this one cause that's not gonna fit in that container. We'll set that aside from now for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that in the end, but I don't have to decide that right away. So when I'm doing my diamond paintings, especially if they're bigger, I actually like to have this with me so that I don't have to, it's not, the canvas has this key printed on the side of it, but it's nice not having to shift the canvas over, especially like I said, when it's big and look way over there to see what symbol is, is I'm trying to work on, you know? This I can have right in front of me, I can see it really clearly. Um, I don't think that this is these stickers are gonna fit very well on here anyways. So I am also gonna save this aside. Now if you have other containers and you want to peel these off, cause they're stickers. I mean, look, you can peel it off. It's not focusing, is it there? You can peel it off. You can stick it on your container. But for me, for now, and we'll see as, as time goes on, I may change my mind. But for me, for now, I'm gonna leave this, if I can get it back on there, I'm gonna leave that there so that I can just have that in front of me. Let's stick that, oh no, let's not stick that under there yet because I'm still gonna need this. Okay, for double checking my work, it's always a good thing. So one of the ways that I label containers is I will write the numbers on there, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Each of these has a serial number, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. And I can put the corresponding color in those. Now these containers come with four hooked onto each other. They are not my favorite containers, but they're my containers that I'm using for this set. So first we have number one, which happens to be 129, which is this gorgeous, buttercream yellow aurora borealis snip the corner off and pour it right on in hey guess what the whole thing fit in there <laughs> Now eventually, I'm going to, oh, look at this one. This is a, the other AB. Light neon green, 135. 
eventually I'm going to oh I just tried to I just tried to cut a diamond in half what was I thinking I didn't do it on purpose eventually I'm going to get to where not all of these are going to fit into a container and I will show you what I think I'm going to do in that case if you haven't guessed already this is going to be the one you're going to find out on so I have to think very carefully about this because I have to I have to, because not because there's gonna be some left in here in this bag now and so when you cut it you're gonna want to make sure that you cut it in a way that is gonna work for you you'll see what I mean in a minute so I'm gonna fill that up with those lovely now you can put this in another container you can Oh, put it in, put them in baggies. A lot of people use the baggies to work one color at a time on their canvas. And then when they have these extra like this, they'll pour it into the baggies if they want to work on another color with that. And because these could spill, they could get everywhere. So that's where these come in. I have these clips and I have some paper clips in case there's extra because that's how it's going to be. I know that's how it's going to be. Because there's way too many colors in this kit for there not to be extras. So what I'm going to do is because I'm not, I could just, I could just throw these. Well, first of all, let me show you what I'm going to do. I take, I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I cut it straight across when I went to pour them and I'm going to bend it over twice. And then I'm going to clip it. Okay. Chances are those diamonds are not going to fall out of there. Okay. I could throw these into like a Tupperware container and just pull them out when I need them. Since I'm going to be accessing them pretty regularly, I'm just going to set them right here in this container that I have and line them up in order. That's what I'm going to do. first four yay 51 left to go <laughs> all right so I pull out my next ones five six seven eight now on other sets that I have you can write bigger numbers I mean if, if you want to be able to see them better you know do what works for you for me small is fine I have pretty good eyesight um, this is just, these are just squares of washi tape that I've cut. This one's been used a few times, which is why the ends are starting to come up. But see, if that starts getting to where it's bothersome or it um, gets in the way of what I'm doing or it's hard for me to see what the numbers are, I can just peel that off and put a new piece of washi tape on there. No big deal. So yeah, I just cut out squares of washi tape put them put them hold on let me do this double check thing 5208 208 perfect um so yeah cut out st strips of washi tape put them on each of your containers and give them a number and then you'll know you'll know what color you're looking for now the really nice thing about doing it this way is you don't have to label each of your containers every single time. Like I said, these are kind of curled up on the edges because I've used this three, four, for three or four kits and I didn't have to change anything. It's just that, excuse me, I labeled it once and that was it. So that's, that's the really nice thing about doing it that way is once it's there, it's there. You can also just write in dry erase marker. I did run into that problem when I was de-kitting one of my last kits. 
that's exactly what I did was I used dry erase marker on my container and I couldn't get it off. Now I've heard a lot of tips out there, use rubbing alcohol, use nail polish remover. Guys, I tried both of those things and it did not work. I could not get, get the dry erase marker off. So I saw you, I saw, oh, I saw, these number three one sevens, they are, they are desperate to escape. I have two on my finger there. One here on the table, they do have static. I was gonna say that one just clung to the side of the table. Okay. Okay. I was really trying to get all of them in this container without, there, got it. Yay, okay. What was I talking about? Uh, I couldn't get, oh, I, that I couldn't get the dry erase marker off the last set of containers. And it wasn't containers like these. It was a hard type of plastic. I mean, this is hard plastic, but it's, I don't know, more porous than the other one. I mean, the other one was, I, this isn't porous, but it's the only way I can think of describing it. The other one was more... Well, it was, it was just different. It was a different kind of plastic. It was a harder type of plastic. So, I don't know. If anyone has any tips out there, let me know. Like I said, I tried rubbing alcohol. I tried nail polish remover. All right, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nine is 327, let's do it. Okay, so see, right off the bat, I can already tell you, one of these is gonna go straight into here. And the other one I'm gonna cut, and I think if this one's gonna fit in, in the container all the way. We shall see. Ta-da! Number 10, 334, 334. You do want to make sure that you double check everything when you're doing this method though, because once things are in there, they're in there. And if, if you have a color that doesn't have multiple bags for that color. You can't cross check it unless you go to like a DMC chart and look up the color. And the last thing that you want to do is to have a bunch of the wrong color of drills on your canvas in a different color drills space. Number 12 is 413. So for those of you out there who are doing a Chuck Pinson for the Chuck Along, what one are you doing? The last time, 13, 14, 15, 16, the last one that I did was the Sweet Life. Like I said, that was the first one that I participated in. And this time I'm doing Brookside Retreat. This is going to be a beautiful diamond painting. Okay, I feel like I, feel like I could fit those in there, maybe not wishful thinking perhaps okay double fold clippy clippy put you away okay i actually haven't had as many going in there as i thought although 
we are not nearly done yet. What am I, guys, what am I doing? Okay, 14, 433. Okay, now see, this one has three. So I'm gonna stick the extra ones there. I hope these all fit in here because I cut that one way farther down than I should have. I don't think they're all gonna fit. This is gonna be tricky. Mm, yeah, no. Okay. The more space you can leave in the bag, the better because when you're folding it over, it just gives extra space for those those diamonds to have before they escape, if that makes sense. There no fifteen four three four. We have three of those also. Put those there. Let's see if we can do a little bit better job this time. Cut it near the top. Oh. I know more would fit in there, but these are kind of jumping around. They're a staticky lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and save, save the troubles on that one for later. <laughs> okay, so in this section, this section's pretty full. I could jam some more in there if I have to, but I'm not going to force a bunch in there unnecessarily. If we get down to it and I need more space, I will do that, but we're just going to leave that like that for now. 16 should be 435. Correct. Correct. Okay. There are two bags of those. Once again, cut near the top so that I have extra space to fold over. Awesome. Another set of colors done. Now, you know one thing I need to do? I need to fold this so that I can better read the number. That's still kind of difficult to read, but it's much better if I can read as much of the number as possible without having to unfold it. 17, 18, 19, 20. 17, we have four, seven, zero, which is two bags. Also, as I'm doing this, the ones that, if there's one side that's kind of bent over like this one was, that's the side that I cut off so that they will lay as smoothly in my holder over there as possible. I'm hoping that paper clips will work once I run out of these, and I think that they will. I think that they will. 471 is number 18. We are right on track. Although guys, we are only at number 18. Out of 55. Wow. 
what I think would be really cool is to be able to do a time lapse. That is something I haven't learned how to do yet. In situations like this, would probably be ideal. Is twenty five fifty? It is. It is. There's not a lot in there, but there is enough to probably color some really pretty flowers or something on the canvas. And it's kind of nice that it's just one bag and it's gone. I don't have to worry about that. I forgot to show you. Pretty. All right. 21 is 600. Oh my gosh. I guess it was only, was it only one? Wow. It felt like I spilled a whole bunch, but I guess I didn't. That was weird. Okay. Twenty-two. Okay, that was six hundred. Twenty-two is six hundred one, and twenty-three is six hundred two. Six hundred, six hundred one, six hundred two. All pinks. All just one slightly different than the other one. Another option, if you had extra containers, um, like I only have a couple of these, a couple sets of these, but another option is to just put extra. So say I only wanted to label this like 21 and say I had you know, extra bags, instead of putting them in containers like that, I could just fill up all of these with that one color and just label one. That's an idea. 640, this one has multiples, I know it is. Oh yeah, it does, okay. We have five of those. This is the most bent up one. boy I know I spilled some on that one I know I did I think I even I think some even jumped off to the floor there's a little tiny ledge there and there, there we go all right another one down one more left in that side. Before I get too eager, I need to put these away. Hmm. Pretty much gonna take up that whole section right there. Okay. 25. Six, four, seven. There's three of those.
we have a couple of those. I want to make I want to make those fit in there so bad but I just it's better not to force it I mean because then when I go to use use that one for example it's going to possibly spill out all right, 27, 745, perfect. We are right where we need to be. All right, guys, we have three more clips left. How far do you suppose that will take us? What number do you think we'll what number do you think we'll get to when those clips run out? Let's see. Number 28, we have 798. That's definitely going to all fit into this space. Come on. Check it out, guys. We finished one. The, one of the things I really like about these containers is you can see them all in there, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty to just, to just look at those. So they may be small, but they're so pretty to look at. Plus, I mean, when it's smaller, it's easy to carry around. Not that I'm going to be really carrying them around, but you never know. All right. We are on 29, 841. Looks like we have two packages of those which means one of our clips are gonna go to it. I know it, I just know it. I might as well dump those out. That one is definitely going to fit in there. That is a very bright color. It's a bright reddish pink. I don't think the brightness of it is quite showing up on the camera as bright as it actually is, but let me tell you, it is bright. Speaking of bright, I am going to go turn off that light because the lighting has kind of changed. All right, I think that is much better. I mean, it's a little bit trickier for me to see, to be honest, but I think that on camera, it's looking a lot better. Number 31. Yep. All right, guys. This is a long video. I should have I should have made that warning in the beginning, but in the beginning, I didn't know. I should have known because there's a lot of colors in this kit. The more colors in the kit, the longer it's going to take to kit up, of course. Hmm. 
I would like to hold on. Yes. Okay. Got to do your double checking. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I would like to one of these days start doing whip and chats. I have the diamond paint with me and lavender, lavender and me. I'm not sure how the wording on that, but you know what I'm talking about. I have those, I have those whip and chat type of series, that whip and chat type of series going on, but it's a little bit different than your average whip and chat so I would like to do I would like to start doing whip and chats you know just me um, I love the ones with lavender don't get me wrong but I just I don't know I don't think I'm <laughs> my, my skills excuse me I don't think my skills are quite up to that yet. Like, I'm pretty good at multitasking, but multitasking and talking, ugh, I got to work on that a bit. Look at this, 934. Look at all those. Okay. We have finished one side. So we are switching to the other side. I'm not sure I like how I did this. <laughs> That's why I paused because I started the shortest number here and went back. I will do the shortest number here and go back, but I kind of like going from left to right, not right to left. I could just switch them, but why put in extra work, right? It's just my extra drills. Okay, 34, 934, whoa, okay, the coincidence of it all. All right, this is the last clip like this that we have, focus, yeah, focus, this is the last kind of clip like this that we have, so. It's not focusing. It's being a pain. I hope that these paper clips will work. All right. 35. 935. What? This one, actually, there's quite a bit of this one, too. about to find out let's see that works totally fine you just want you want to make sure that's on there so you can put it like this if you want an extra security you could come in here like this on the sides and do one on each side like that like you could do that that's a little bit of extra security i'm not going to be moving these around too much and honestly i don't know i feel like that was secure enough for what i'm doing so i'm just going to leave it at that one and done all right number 36 9.37. Oh, you thought it was going to continue too, didn't you? Okay. It's a lot of that color. There's a lot of greens. A lot of greens in this kit. A lot of greens and browns. And then just miscellaneous other colors. Some really bright. Some pastel just different colors 
Yeah, that works. That works nicely. Now I'm double, now I'm thinking if I want to take some of my clips back and just use the paper clips because the paper clips are slimmer. They fit in there much better than these clips. You can see you take up more space. And these clips I like to use on my canvas when I have to roll part of it up, which I'm probably going to have to do with this canvas. But now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I could use paper clips. Because I have some really cute paper clips, actually, I can pull out. I used to work as a cardiac monitor tech in an ICU in a hospital. And one of my jobs was sending up heart rhythm strips to the different floors. And I liked to buy my own cute little paper clips for that. So. I have a lot of extras laying around, not laying around. I have them organized nicely in a box. I don't know why I'm saying that like that. I don't know why I'm saying that like that at all. Okay, 938. <laughs> Jeepers. This is number 37. One of the things I was saying earlier, before I got distracted by something, I always get distracted by things. Um, before I got distracted by one of the things was, I wanna learn how to do time-lapse in videos. And that's not very much. If anybody who happens to be watching this happens to have some tips for me on that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna start doing some research. When you get to be my age, these things take time to figure out how to do. And, well, I mean, they would take anybody time to figure out how to do, but especially as you get older, it takes time to figure out how to do and so it'll probably still be a while yet but I think that that would be a handy skill to be able to have for editing although you guys probably don't mind these long chats while I kid up right oh dear check this out you see that? I don't know which one it goes to. I'll probably be able to look back on the video. I think it's this one. Those two colors are so close to each other. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that right there and I'm gonna go back and watch the video after I'm done with all this and I'm gonna figure it out. And in the meantime, while you guys are watching this, well, technically I'll have figured that out before I post this video, but while you guys are watching this, you're probably gonna be knowing and being like, it was that one right there. Or if you didn't notice, you're gonna go back and look if you're the type of person that that sort of thing drives you crazy, not knowing. And if you're not that type of person, I wish I was like you because <laughs> I know it would drive me crazy. I'd be like, oh, now I got to go back and look and see what one she was talking about, which one it was. Okay. Another one down. There it goes. Wasn't, really wasn't wanting to focus. All right, 41. Three zero two three. Looks like we have two of those. And we are running out of space over here. I didn't really factor that into the equation. Like I didn't think that would happen. 
But I'm probably wrong. That probably is very much going to happen. <laughs> uh, especially since I'm not like jamming all of these into here. Like I probably could. If it really was important to me, I probably could just jam those in and make it all fit. And that would save space over here. But I'm not going to do that. And actually, probably one of the things that I will do if I need more space, which I probably will because I'm looking over here, over there, there's still a whole row. There's still a whole row of diamonds, bags of diamonds. So I'll probably go through and take some of the ones with clips out, switch them with paper clips. That should save me some room. have any questions out there for me either about the kidding up process or questions about me personally I mean I mean depending on how personal it is I may not answer but um, if you have that I saw that one it just bounced bounce bounce floor I don't see it on the floor though Oh, bound to have a casualty here and there along the way. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave me your question in the comment down below and I will be happy to answer it as long as I'm able to. You can also email me if you don't want your question to be public. My email address should be in the description box below. I was going to make an email account specifically for this. YouTube channel and I don't remember if I ever actually did or not. You guys almost let me forget to put these in there. Okay. And yeah, we are running out of room. Three three seven one. There's only four bags of that one. You know you're doing a big, you're kidding up a big kit when four bags doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> By now I've seen it all. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as I was saying, you know, feel free to send me an email. If I have the email down below, I don't know if I do. I think I do. Three, six, zero, seven. This is the point where I say, okay, if this isn't going to all fit in there, I'm going to have to make it fit. Oh, man. That's not going to be a good idea. That's really overflowed. I am probably going to regret that. I don't know if you can see, it's not even closed center because there's some, there's one that's like stuck in the side there. But I know if I try to fix it, it's gonna, well, hmm. It's all in there. It's, <laughs> it is, it's a tight fit for sure. <laughs> 
but it's in there. All right. That's all I'm going to say about that. One more segment done. Two more left. Okay. 49. Three, seven, seven, six. I'll be curious to know if any of you out there managed to sit through this whole thing. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And let me tell you what, I give extra kudos to you because this is a long video. I've had to stop a few times and pretty much every time it's been at like the 15, 20 minute mark. And so, you know, I have math skills. I know that that adds up. Number 50 is 3787. I probably already said that, but sometimes I get distracted and I gotta re double check. <laughs> I gotta double check my double checks. Yep, yep. Okay. You guys, this is the point where I can't fit any more else in here. So I'm gonna go and reorganize this a bit all right guys I was able to save quite a lot of space by switching those clippy clips with paper clips let's carry on look that's all we got left we're so close to being done all right Number 51, and according to this, it is 37 Double fold paper clip right into my organizer Fifty-three. We only have three colors left, guys. This organizer I got from Bella Art Day Nicole. I will try to remember to link their shop in the description box below. I know that I tend to do a lot of unboxings from that company on this channel. That is because I love the company. What can I say? So I buy their I buy their stuff and when I buy stuff that pertains to diamond painting or any other crafts really, I'd like to do some other more types of crafts on this channel. But of course I'm gonna of course I'm gonna show these things to you guys. Even if it's stuff I've already gotten before. Alright, last one. And there'll be one to spare. And guess what? I can use that space for. I'm gonna use that space for my trash while I'm working. Yep.
If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I love answering you guys' questions. Oh, I'm not going to, well, I am going to close that up, but I still have that extra drill that I have to go back and figure out which one it belongs to. <laughs> oh, I can't end this video yet. I still got the washi tape to show ya. But there are the colors for Brook Brookside Retreat. All kitted up and ready to go. I got my legend, my extra sticker, my extra drills. Let's get into how I section off the canvas. Okay, this is going to be really tricky to do because this canvas is so large. But as always, I'm going to do my absolute best for you guys. Okay. First of all, I am going to line the edges all the way around all the way around the canvas with washi tape and that keeps fuzz and all kinds of little buildup that can accumulate on the edges where it's sticky and doesn't have diamonds drills laid down it just it keeps it from accumulating the fuzz and dirt and helps it to stay nice and you know if, if I'm diamond painting if I'm diamond painting along I don't get stuck to the to that part so peel back the plastic cover just a bit put something on top of it to keep it down if you have a cover minder that's a great use for such a thing oh boy try not to do what I do so try to get the washi tape as close to the border as possible without going into the diamond painting area. My phone just gave me the notification that the batteries are low. <laughs> My battery was almost full when I started recording which shows me I've been recording for a long time. All right, go ahead and do this all the way around. All right, guys, I had to move out to my kitchen table because there just was not enough room to show you this next part that I have to show you. I'm still not entirely sure that there is enough room even out here on my kitchen table. <laughs> but anyways, I did the washi tape all the way around. And for the next part, I have to divide the canvas up into sections. So it is going to be for the full month of September which is approximately four weeks. So the first thing I need to do is divide my canvas into four sections. So the, I just pulled on this and it ripped. <laughs> awesome. Um, anyways, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So basically, I am going to do take washi tape 
and do one long strip down the middle that way and one long strip down the middle this other way. All right. Now, if you want to be really specific with your measurements, you can measure the distance of your canvas. You can put your washi tape exactly so it's in the middle. That's not what I did. I just kind of eyeballed it because it doesn't really matter that much to me if I work on more one week and less on another week. So I divided my canvas into four rectangle segments. Now each of those segments I will divide into seven pieces because there are seven days in a week. It does not matter what they look like. You can do it however you want. You can do strips, you can do squares, you can have them be approximately same size. You can have them be approximately, not approximately, you can have them be different sizes. Um, I like the idea of doing different sizes because different days of the week, I have more time for diamond painting than others. So maybe two of the sizes will, maybe, maybe two of the squares will take up half of one square because on the weekends, say I can diamond paint a lot. For me, it's actually the weekdays that I can diamond paint more than the weekends when my kids are in school as they are right now. But anyways, you know, maybe smaller, s s five smaller sections for the rest of the week. Or maybe you know that there's going to be one day that you're not going, a week that you won't be diamond painting or two days that you won't be diamond painting. So then you can divide up your sections differently. Maybe you only have six sections. Maybe you only have five or four, but that's totally up to you. As for me, I'm doing seven sections because I'm going to try to work on it a little bit every day. So I'm gonna section that off and I will be back to show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys, so I have it sectioned off. As you can see, I was using this thicker, darker washi tape over here, and I ran out. I like doing my sections in different sizes, but there you have it. This one particular washi tape is not very good at sticking in place, <laughs> but... Yeah, there you go so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching I will see you next time bye